Good morning. So today I'm really excited to start talking about a new subject I've been sort of developing and it's called astrological archetyping and I think you guys will really like it so stay tuned if you want to learn more about what's an archetype. Okay, so have you ever seen somebody who just was not really acting like themselves. We all kind of see these characters on a regular basis. So, you know, whether it's like, you know, kind of like a nerd trying to be a jock, or, you know, even sort of like a pretty girl trying to be, you know, smart. Um, maybe, I hope these aren't like too stereotyping or too sort of offensive, but what I'm trying to get at is that th there is a real, Thing that happens where people are trying to be different than who they really are uh, and when you see somebody like that it kind of makes you cringe a little bit you're like oh like that's that's not right like they're not being themselves and um, even if you don't know them that well you kind of get a sense that oh they're not being authentic um, and what that is is that they are going against their astrological archetypes so we all have um, many different archetypes in our chart. Um, there's one main one though, and our main archetype tells us who we are and who we're supposed to be, and when we when we sort of fight against it, uh, we create a sort of an uncomfortable reaction in ourselves and in other people. So, how many archetypes are there? There are potentially infinite number of archetypes in your chart, but at least 12 for all the 12 houses, and um, in terms of like functional day-to-day -day practical archetypes, um, at least four really important ones. Um, so the first one that's the most important is your personal uh, archetype, and that's gonna be the ruler of your first house. So um, if you have, um, and I'm gonna kinda talk about my own chart because it's kinda of the easiest to do here. So I have Sagittarius rising, um, and Sagittarius is owned by Jupiter, and my Jupiter is in Gemini in the seventh house. And so we take all the information and we sort of, it's called parsing astrology, to take this data and put it together in sort of a sentence. So I have Jupiter, which is the planet of, you know, it's a spiritual teacher, it's this, per Jupiter loves adventure, it loves um, teaching, it loves philosophy, it, and so that's, that's my archetype. And going from the, the energy of Sagittarius over to Gemini in the seventh house means that I'm really interested in other people, which is the seventh house, and really interested in communicating and communication. So my archetype is a person who's bringing spiritual information to other people via communication. So it's obviously a fitting archetype and if I'm functioning in a dominant way outside of trying to teach people philosophical information, I'm just really out of my power as an individual and I'd be going against my archetype. So if I were um, trying to be a scientist or even, I mean, a psychologist even maybe, if I were trying to be um, someone functioning outside of the world of philosophy um, and really in an antagonistic way to philosophy, then that would people would feel uncomfortable about me and I would feel uncomfortable about myself. So that's a very basic example. Um, and I'm gonna be doing some other videos too that explain how to find your other archetypes. So let me know if you um, have any questions about finding your personal archetype. Um, it's not that hard, but it can be a little bit confusing to parse it out. So try to figure yours out. Let me know if you have questions about it and let me know what you think. Is your personal archetype true for you and what happens when you try to break the mold of your archetype and go against it. So really love connecting with you guys. Always feel free to ask me questions. Please subscribe to my channel and definitely check out my website, dannypew.com. Um, I post lots of really cool articles there. Um, there's lots of resources and I'm also pretty active on Quora.com. I love to answer questions there about astrology. So definitely connect with me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.